Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing a reading now. This is for the week of September 11th through September 18th. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, so be it. I did pre-shuffle these three times for you with a bridge before this shuffle. Okay, there we go. Let's start with those. This is September 11th through September 18th. This energy may have already happened. It may be on your mind or it may be in the future. Or it may not resonate at all. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. So far, it does. That lover's card right down there on the bottom. Well, it's not the lover's card. Damn it. It's the two of cups. And I know it's the two of cups. I use this deck all the time. But I just called the lover's card. Oh, there's a reason for that. All right. The shadow side. That's the devil card. All right. That's the devil card. That's some kind of um, desire. Okay. Some kind of desire that is overpowering and that you have to adhere to it okay there's a lot of uh excitement okay there's excitement and there's this there's a new excitement okay it's something new um yeah there's a there is there's a new partner here it looks like there's a new partner for a lot of you or a new excitement okay definitely it looks really really good um as far as how you're feeling this week it's like wow all right um <laughs> but then again we have that three of cups up there it looks like it's a time of celebration but um there's still some crying over something so there's there's a crying a loss of some sort that makes you feel like you need to cry over something um it could be regarding you know Choosing between two people. It could. Um, we have a commitment here. A commitment with somebody that you are very attracted to. Maybe it's a new beginning because this is the death card that leads to a commitment with somebody that you are very, very attracted to. It could be a soulmate. Seriously, it could be. You could have, I mean, you might, if you haven't met this person yet, you could meet them. Could be through, um, work or school, if you haven't met them already. Um, there's, there's the truth. There's a breakthrough. There's something going on regarding your family. There's finally a breakthrough. I think this is something that you've been waiting for. And I think there's finally something. There's an awakening. There's a breakthrough that brings more security, okay, into your life. Brings more security, which is amazing because here we, this is security and this is too, okay? This is a, this right here is the death card. When the death card comes up, it means you're going to start something brand new, a new phase of your life. It's a new transformation, all right? With balance and harmony starts to come back. I think that this is a good week because we have harmony, we have stability, we have happiness, we have clarity, I mean, we have attraction, we have commitment, we have excitement. 
We do have some moping. We have some moping. And we have some desires that are not always good. We have some desires that um, bring uh, regrets. Not always. Not always. Most of the time, though, uh, most of these desires bring some kind of regret. regret. Okay? This is the devil card. Whatever desire this might be, it's going to be exciting and it's going to be hot, whatever it is. And I don't th say that this is always a bad thing. This can also be a connection that is divine, okay, if you look on the other deck. So it could be a divine connection. And with this card, you know, it's not really something you can ignore. I'm shuffling my other deck. You definitely, I mean, you have something new. There's some newness here. There's a new discovery. <laughs> Holy crap, and these cards, they just do not want to shuffle. They're just dropping out, and I, you know, I picked them up. I son of a god, it's just doing it again. It's they're like, it's just steal the freaking cards. All right, the first card is the Queen of Cups. This is very, um, like I, I feel this was going back to the last reading. It's very uh, fun-loving, all right? It's a very fun-loving feeling. It's very um, deep. There's a deep connection, all right, with this person. And I think that you're feeling the deep, deep connection. And probably the other person is too. There's a deep feeling in, between the two of you. All right. There's very, um, there's a lot of compassion. All right. There's a lot of compassion. There's a lot of, uh, like, What's the word? I'm trying to think of a word and my mind is just going blank. I hate it when that happens. It's um feeling between the two of you and somebody else. It's like an inner knowing. You know what I'm saying? Between you and another person. And it's, there's something so deep that you cannot um break away from it. You know? That's what it is. It's 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 very, very Magnetic, that's the best word. There's a magnetic attraction here that is like unbelievable. All right, that's all there is to it. It's a desire. All right, this right here is knowing, knowing about something, knowing that you have to make a choice between two people. <laughs> That is exactly what it is, too. Could be a partner, could be a child, could be a job. You have to make a choice between two things. One of them is so exciting. And the desire is huge. I'm just saying. We have Scorpio, we have Cancer, we have Pisces, we have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Capricorn. Um, did I say Scorpio already? I did, didn't I? And I said Capricorn. Just seeing who I might have missed. We probably have more. Oh, we have Taurus, yeah. Anyway, it's really any sign because we all have different aspects in our charts. So don't even, I wouldn't lay too much on that. Um... I see coming out of your shell. 
you might be independent. You might be independent for a while, but you have a lot to be grateful for and you can you be able to get by just fine. All right. So this is a time of independence. Like I said, this may have already happened, whatever. But or it's going to happen. And this is the woman. This is like the widow card or, you know, divorcee or whatever you want to call it. And she's she takes care of herself very, very well. She's not struggling. And she's happy and she's grateful and she's not in a hurry. You know, and she's just doing what she has to do, waiting for her prince to come in. Now, this prince comes slowly, all right? He doesn't come rushing in. So that's why that gives her, you know, what she needs to do whatever she's got to do, whatever. Anyway, he's coming. Slowly. And this is any sign. It really is coming slowly. Or something is taking its sweet little time. This is change, though. There's change on the horizon. Right here. There's some change on the... And decisions? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I mean, this, the those twos, they're about making a choice, making a decision. No doubt. It is definitely time. And you might end up be, being single for a little while because... You have desire for something else. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. And I think there's like a soulmate relationship under here. After your time of being alone. Because you got two cards right here of time alone. Time alone. That's what this is. You take time alone and the soulmate is right under the surface. And that's your new transformation right there. This isn't going to resonate for everybody. Just saying. This is meant to resonate with who it's supposed to resonate with. If you're already coupled, maybe you need... I don't know. I think this is for singles. I really do. Or somebody that is coupled and, you know... Making a choice between two things, two people. That could be the case. Yeah, that probably is. For most of you. You might be single and still emotionally attached to something. Or you might be thinking about Because like at the beginning I said, and I haven't said that for anybody else. You know, this could be whatever I said. I can't even repeat it. But, um... You could be thinking about this what I was trying to say. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. 100%. Absolutely. No doubt about it. In yourself and in your beliefs and in your feelings and in your heart. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. One of the reasons you're whatever is because you're worried about finances and you're worried about this. There's nothing to worry about. You're going to be absolutely abundant there's no reason you might not be rich but you'll be taking care of yourself or you are taking care of yourself or you have been taking care of yourself just fine so however it resonates with you but this is definitely a long time both of them calling in your soulmate your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And like I said, things happen. It's right below the surface. And you call it in by make, taking the steps that you need to take. You know, if you're having desires to get out of something, that's a desire. If you're having desires for somebody else and you know you need to do something, then you need, that's a desire. You know, if you're having desires for whatever the hell it is, or addictions, or whatever, that are whatever. I want it to be quick, so I'm not going to get into that, because this is a love reading. Intended to be a love reading. Um, I see alone time. I see things happening. I see clarity. I see um, excitement. I see passion. All right, I see desires. Okay, there's a lot of desires here. 
that aren't necessarily, um, I mean, there's something you can't ignore, put it that way. All right. That's what I have, Virgo. I got to stop right there or I could go for the whole night. All right. Talk to you later.